Good morning, everyone. Uh, Her Excellency, the First Lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Dr. Aisha Buhari, here represented by Her Excellency, Mrs. Dolapo Simbajo, the wife of the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Um, please kindly permit me to stand on already established protocol as we move uh, this event forward. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I say welcome to all of you. Uh, two years ago, I was a student with the Harvard Medical School, and in one of the sessions, we were shown graphs of expected life outcomes of people from different countries. I was the only African in the hall, and of course, no African nation was shown. But it was interesting because for every other nation that was shown, the graph was triangular. When I asked them to show me Nigeria, it was a rectangular shape. And the reason was simple. Over here, our life expectancy is low. And we needed to do something about it. That day strengthened my resolve on this Amar Youth Health Campaign, which we are here to flag off only one of its four components today. Today, we all witness history. Today, we all make history. And today we all join to rewrite history. The history we all witness and make and rewrite today is the history that will save and improve lives. It is the history that will create a generation of Nigerians that will be better off than their parents and grandparents on health, on education, on morals, and on leadership. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, these and more are what the OCI Foundation, Samoa Youth Health Campaign, otherwise known as the Arroy Health Campaign, are designed to do. Just over three months ago, at a venue not too far away from here, we successfully staged a one-day seminar for NYSC delegates from all of Nigeria's 36 states and the FCT. This was part of the preparation for the nationwide commencement of this all-important campaign. What we said then and what we repeat now is that in our humble view, the Amar Youth Health Campaign will most likely be the most impactful healthcare initiative by an NGO, not just in Nigeria, but in all of the developing world. I am pleased to say, distinguished guests, that the OCI Foundation is not alone in this belief. The very broad partnerships and coalitions behind this project, which we all witnessed today, attest to this. The coalitions have seen us partner with the best and the finest minds from different national and international institutions in the fight against the deadly duo of breast and cervical cancers. The vision, the passion and the aspirations behind the ROI Health Campaign cuts across political and social divides and does not recognize international borders. We are all united by the desire to support a program that was developed from raw research and laced with a firm and sincere commitment to saving Nigerian lives. For the records, ladies and gentlemen, the Amar Youth Health Campaign offers an innovative approach to stemming the scourge of breast and cervical cancers among Nigerians. The principles behind it are novel, and were developed from research championed by the OCI Foundation and her associates. It is a program endorsed by the prestigious Harvard Medical School USA, as well as other institutions in Australia, in Canada, in Sweden, and in Nigeria. It is a program supported by the World Health Organization and as it's obvious today, by top Nigerian leaders across all walks of life, be they in government or outside of it. Today, in the course of this ceremony, we will hear directly from most of those involved in this project. Alongside the already mentioned international associates, our core partners in delivering this project include, of course, the Nigerian Youth Service Corps, the NYSC, the Nigerian Cancer Society, the Nigerian First Ladies Against Cancer, and the Sweet Home Africa Humanitarian Foundation. This campaign, a health promotion initiative of the OCI Foundation, primarily seeks to introduce anti-cancer campaigns into the NYSC's orientation activities across Nigeria. It also aims to include preventive teachings into the academic curriculum 
of all senior secondary schools across all the 36 states of Nigeria and the FCT. For the letter project, we are currently working with the Nigerian Face Studies Against Cancer across state levels and with the Nigerian Educational Research and Development Council, NETC, at the national level. With recent developments in the past week, we are very hopeful that the current partnership will expand and uh, will include the Nigerian legislature, who is presented here today, and will also hopefully include the First Lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And this, should they happen, will expedite this process from our target goal of 2025 to 2022 before the end of this year. This program with the NYSC is expected to commence with a batch A of the 2022 core members, which I believe should be within a few weeks from now. Ladies and gentlemen, the OCI Foundation is ready. We have already trained over 95% of the personnel needed, and these include staff from the NYSC and the Nigerian Cancer Society across the 36 states of the country. These trainings are free, these trainings are ongoing, and these trainings are open to all who want to participate in it. Distinguished guests, we have always said that the AMA Youth Health Campaign is novel in its invention. It is comprehensive in its packaging, it is engaging in its delivery, and it is unique in its offering. These exciting attributes of the campaign are captured in the theme of today's event, which is to use technology as a game-changing weapon for Nigerian youth in the fight against breast and cervical cancers. The technological components of this campaign relate to two innovations that the OCI Foundation is making available to all Nigerians for free. The first is the Survey Breast app, a free and interactive mobile phone application that will assist in keeping track of breast and cervical cancer screenings. It will also help Nigerians locate breast and cervical cancer service providers from anywhere in the country. The second component of this technology is the Gynocola project, which provides free and all highly subsidized digital cervical cancer screenings to Nigerians. Just yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, in partnership with the FCT's primary health care board and under the chairmanship of Nigeria's Honorable Minister of State for the FCT, High Excellency Dr. Ramatu Tijani Ali, we successfully commissioned the first free gynecological center in Nigeria. Later this year, we will also establish a second center in Oka, Anambra State, and thereafter, we will commence discussions with the Nigerian federal government, state governors, and first ladies on how best to ensure that each geopolitical zone, at the very least, can have one center. Please contact us. Please partner with us and let us all get this done for our country and our states and our wives and our daughters and our sisters and our moms and our friends and our associates all depend on this. The Right High Campaign is well aligned with a number of items in the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. It is designed to be wide-reaching, it is designed to be sustainable and it is designed to be cost-effective. On September the 10th, 2019, during the official flag of ceremony of the campaign across the 261 public schools in Anambra State, we stated, and I quote, our commitment to this cause is bold and firm. Our desire to reach out to everyone is resolute and it's unwavering. And at the OCI Foundation, we do not lack the courage and we do not lack the dedication, nor the commitment, nor the skills to complete this task. Today, ladies and gentlemen, that courage and dedication and commitment have all combined to yield the desired results. We promise to get it done and call the Nigerians of like mind to join us get this done. We are pleased to say that with the help of those who heeded that call, we are finally doing it. We are also pleased to say that we have not just talked, we have now walked our talks. We have not just dreamt, we are now living those dreams. And we have not just made promises, today we are keeping those promises. We particularly want to thank the Honorable Director General of the NYSC, Major General Shwaibu Ibrahim, 
who gave an express approval to this project in that historic meeting we had with him just two years ago. The DG, sir, we believe the passion and trust you had on the Amar Youth Health Campaign is uncommon. Nigerians owe you a lot and history will forever remember. Why we cannot mention the names of every Nigerian that worked tirelessly to make this day a reality, we want to assure everyone that we deeply appreciate the roles in getting this done and we could not have done it all alone. We acknowledge the challenges we surmounted to get here today. This could easily have made us back down, but we did not. Rather than back down and retreat, we doubled down and we pushed forward. And this is because we believe in the potency of this project. It is because we believe in the power of our dreams. It is because we believe in the attainability of our goals. And we believe in the rare opportunity we have created to save Nigerian lives and to lift Nigerian lives. Like-minded Nigerians shared in this dream and joined forces to make it happen. Starting from the towns and villages in the Omambala area of Anambra State, the dreams resonated well with Nigerian patriots and gentlemen all over the country, from the east to the west and from the north to the south. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a true national Nigerian project. It is a true Nigerian dream developed by a Nigerian with Nigerians for Nigeria. This dream has now crystallized into a reality that will help shape the health discourse within Nigeria and outside of it for decades to come. Thank you all ladies and gentlemen once again for attending this event. Let us all continue to support and partner with the OCI Foundation as we rise by lifting others.